Hello, everybody. Wait, let me get this on the first one. Hello, everybody. I'm Derplos, and we're on Limbus Company again. I am speaking quietly because it is nighttime. A little bit tired. Well, it's 1 a.m. I was just, I was like, I was, I was like, you know what? The game updated. I know the new wall he goes down. I want to see what his specs are, and I was greeted with this when I was updating. We got we got some cutscenes here with Rodia, I guess. Uh, this is logged in. I'm we're just gonna see what this is about. I guess the traffic sucks no matter what richness we go to. We've been traveling at a snail's place through the, this extreme congregate congregation. Uh, boy, it's just too tough. Boy, it's too late for this. Congregate congregation. I don't know how to say the word. I'm supposed to move on. Of this nest for several days now. Rodia clearly is affected by the boredom, sighed and muttered. We've been through similar long periods of inactive inactivity before, but boredom is just some something one could easily get used to. I suppose it became part of my job to listen to the sinners complain about the slow pace of our travel. Warp train right here. Boredom. Why are you full color now? Like you were, I'm pretty sure you were monoc monochrome like earlier a little bit. Like, Okay, Dante. How much longer until T Corp's immigration checkpoint? My only option was to give them a reminder of how far we are from our destination. Yeah, they're actually they're all colored in actually. Not I'm thinking about it yet. Considering that we've been we've been on standby for approximately a day at our next stop, and take into account various other stops we will be making and making and en route. Our estimated estimated time of, of rivals is three days. Uh, I know I feel you, feel you, oh yeah. It's not like we're traveling very far, but with this awful traffic, it feels off the awful feels way further than it really is. Greg is right. It didn't seem like the city was that big. Well, the city is that big. I'm pretty sure the city. It's like the size of like a small country level. Like that's how big the city is. I don't know if I'm right or wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it is the size of a small city. Oh, like not a small city, like a small, like a small country. Probably, possibly even bigger. Maybe there's something these. Maybe there's something to these inevitable, overly long travel times. Something I'm yet to understand. I'm guessing I get. Oh, we're about to get Lord. We're about to get Lord dumped about why driving the city sucks. <laughs> I guess driving around a large bus through a narrow, through the narrow back streets is what's taking us such a long time. I believe that it would have been far faster to march on foot. Yet, what room? What? Yet, what of our room and board? Are you unaware that camping in the open is a natural part of any long march? <laughs> okay, Otis, okay. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, Officer Otis. Not everyone here has been a soldier here. You have. And if we're lucky, we might even run, we might even, uh, unlucky, we might even run into those terrifying sweepers before the break of dawn. Oh, yeah, that does, that, that does, that makes sense. So they, I guess they just ha they go into a building and chill for the for the entire day to avoid the sweepers. Also, I'm looking up, so if something's on the screen right now, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna read it down. Even the partial mention of their name drains all the clarity to Claire's face. I remember what one of the sinners told me about them. That before the break of dawn, oh, speak of sinners sweepers, like I'll talk about the guy, the guys in LCB act like them a little bit. Before the break of dawn, these things called sweepers that sweep up every trash in the back streets. It's kind of terrifying of how broad our definition of trash can be. They called that hour the night of the back streets. They called that hour the night of the back streets or something like that. The hour, wait. I thought that was like... Oh, I thought, oh, I thought this, oh, this actually clears up a lot for me, because I thought the back, the hour, the, I thought the diary of the back streets was, like, the entire night, so they literally come in before dawn, so about one hour, what, yeah, one hour, one hour into, into the, into the, into the, 
into the city and they just sweep up everything within an hour and leave. That's impressive, actually. That's pretty that's pretty impressive. I thought that was like I thought that was the entire night. But if they do that in an hour, that is some efficiency, like a high mind sort of deal thing. But they don't act like in Library of Runa. They don't act like there's like a little bit of a high mind because the mother the mother of sweepers don't know about the shit that goes on in the city. And the super and the supers that we're talking about in there were like yapping all about about all these different guys beating the shit out of them, breaking their bricks and so how they're even able to do that is impressive. I want I want to know I want to know more about the sleepers now. More, more, like, like the biggest thing I had from this get from the from Project Moon games, I'm, I'm rambling on a bit, but like was like the blood fiends. Like that was, those were my most interesting thing and the index because index is, is supreme. Also, they had the best trip, but like mostly the blood fiends because that was interesting. I saw like I heard like Elena was a blood fiend. I was like, hmm, is that a vampire? And it got me very interested. I think it's unrelated to the abnormality in the library arena that shows up too. I think it's just a coincidence sort of thing because the, the blood fiends have their own sort of lore. And it's just, it just might be like a byproduct of of the of the actual thing. But let's continue on. This bus is one of the few vehicles recognized by the city as a resident vehicle, which means we are safe from the hands of the sweepers. Wait, what? Oh, so. So sleepers literally cannot come in here, because this is because this is a resident building, resident vehicle. But how do they know that? It's also not clear if the if the sleepers work directly. I, it might it might have actually it might have been in one of the sleepers backstories, but I don't know if the sleepers actually work for the head or not. They come from the outskirts into the city. I guess they have some sort of deal, but I don't think they work directly for the head. So, how they would know this would... I guess they send the papers out there like, here. Here, uh, Sweeper 55,000, Bob. Here. Here's a paper about the back streets. Uh, back street vehicles. You see this bus right here? It's called Limbus Company. You're gonna avoid this bus at all costs, or we're gonna break a little limbs off your off you. Maybe break a few figures, too. Just let, just let you know. We're just gonna break. We're gonna break them. I don't know how that works. Works out for, for vehicles. Maybe we get more information later. Attempting to sleep outside the bus in the back streets would not permit a restful sleep. Instead, one would be forced to survive the onslaught of a sweep of the sweepers for an hour. For an hour, yeah. So it it is an hour in the in the early hours of dawn. Makes sense. Those sweepers do steer clear of residential areas after all. A slow yet safe travel by vehicle. Or yet or a fast yet high risky march on foot. This is quite the strategic dilemma. Well, obviously it's to be better in the in the, in the ship and the boat thing. Because the sweepers are like in the millions, like probably trillions. Like they'll outnumber you, gank you, you're it's over. Say goodbye. I do not believe the latter option is up for consideration of any fellow. All my fellows. Do, 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 do. Hope, hope, I hope people keep saying fellows more. That's going to become a running gag. The bus is once again consumed by commotion. <sighs> His eyes are glowing a little bit. Unless I'm just tired of imagining things. And into the commotion... Barged in the creak of an opening of a door with a familiar sigh. Oh, now it's glowing. Now it's glowing. <laughs> I understand you all might. I understand you all must be in, quite impatient, but we're precisely on schedule. So save your breath and stop complaining. Before I kill all of y'all, because you're all annoying me. You see, I'm trying to get some beauty sleep with my stuffed teddy bear of lapis. So if you could just fuck off. And let me go to sleep. Dante, you're a fucking failure of a leader. By the looks on your faces, I would have been ver worrying about a mutiny if I didn't know any better. Those papers in your hand. New orders from the higher ups? Frostless was holding what appeared to be a, a bundle of freshly printed out papers. This was the first time something like this happened. Sometimes, after communicating 
in his room with the higher ups of the company, he'd bring out a few sheets of, sheets of paper that'll bring us up to speed. Yes, a new update. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, so yeah, I, I, I do update, huh? I do update to the game of this company. Don't tell me we're going on another detour. I'll say that I'm quite done with clearing up these distortions messes. Look, we have to get to... Stop whining like a, a perpetual per child. There won't be any more detours until we reach our current destination. Virgilus furled his brows, walked up to the front of the bus to lean against one of the first row's chairs. He began leisurely shuffling through the documents. This is just an announcement. It says that here things will be changing on how you record abnormal. Oh, oh, wait, we're. Wait, 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 wait. Are we actually getting our shit in the fucking Dante notes? All the all the enemy information? It's like, it says your, your, your abnormalities, distortions, and particularly are categorized. Huh, what? So we gotta do a bunch of paperwork? No, once completed, your observation logs will be all are all digitized and shared with the upper echelons of the company. Of course. If the observation logs need themselves to be edited, there may be orders to make direct adjustments by hand. However, the categorize for each entity will be updated automatically. They are merely informing centers of the upcoming changes. It is nice to have someone that someone else do all the explain for once. She's right. I presume this ought to do with the new type of particular and we've encountered in a four. Yes, but that isn't all. Virgilius closed his eyes, weary, and lightly folded his papers in his hands. He called out to the two sitters. Ye sang Ismail. He pointing out Ismail and Ye sang. Yeah? You have called upon my name? I'll leave it up to you two, two model students to explain the contents of these documents. I don't feel like I'm up to the task of explaining what's going on in these papers. All to you. <sighs> I'm lazy. Dante, go give me a soda, Dante. Dr. Cook, Dr. Pepper. Diet. With that, Fragilus pretty much shoved the papers in Ishmael's hands before taking a seat in the front row of the bus, staring at Ishmael. Making sure she didn't fuck it up, or she would get her her next her next nap. Did he re really just jump his responsibility onto us? I hear you over there, fraudulent. I mean, I hear you over there, Ishmael. Don't make me come over there. I'll stare at your gaze. Ishmael didn't seem too happy about the sudden turn of events. She still, she opened up the documents and began reading. I can never tell if he actually doesn't care about us or if he just naturally comes off as a cold person. <sighs> so what does this thing say, is she? Give me a sec. So... Does it say anything new about abnormalities? Looks like these documents are from the LCD. The sender address says... Woo! LCD is the department that contacted manager Esquire, is it not? As where was it? I still vividly remember her chaotic, bubbly voice coming through that radio. The former L Corp. B A H. Boring as hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the bus began to fill with familiar, hectic buzz once again. Well, if you would allow me to, Mrs. Smell. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> You say trying to uh, help in with Ishmael's explanation of the documents, but this is exactly why I'm the only one that ever reads the guides. Oh, she's oh, she's pissed off. She's pissed off. I can see the veins starting to open. Ishmael's uh, starting to see the. I can see the veins popping in Ishmael's fingers. At this rate, she's gonna drop the documents in favor of our mace. <laughs> Wait, 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 Ismail, I got, I got this, calm down. I hurried over to Ismail and practically hung on to the documents in her hand. We literally tore the bundle of documents in half, but she quickly gave up and loses her grip. Yoshi Otis, please keep donning 
Don Quixote and Heathcliff quiet while I take care of this. Oh yes, this <laughs> this will be fun. Without killing them or beating them up, please. Glowing eyes too. B A A H. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like both Fraudulus, Virgilus, Virgilus, and and Ryoshu on the topic of like blood fiends earlier. I don't know if I talked about this in an earlier video, but like I feel like they're like they're both blood fiends, or at least Ryoshu is because why the fuck are their eyes glowing like that? <laughs> What kind of weird superpower? And, and Ryoshi's weird, and and Fraudulus is an asshole. So that's, that's there's there's connection. And Elena from from uh, maybe I'll make a separate video about that later. That might be something a topic I do later. I'll think about it. But like, but Elena from Library of Runa is also an asshole, and she's weird. So she kind of ties all three of them together. Ryoshu slowly lowers Don Don Quixote's lance. She picked up. All right then. If you have any questions with while Ishmael reads the documents, raise your hand to be recognized. He's saying, Faust, you guys don't really raise your hands to speak, so please chime in if there's any details you can elaborate on. Understood. Very well. Oh yeah. If anyone tries to speak out of turn, please smack them lightly in the head. In the head. If you do good, I'll make sure to order you extra desserts on during our team dinner. I cannot whistle. You you know how to you know how to motivate people, don't Dante? What an impressive growth growth of leadership capabilities, executive manager. All right, then first bond goes to wait 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 wait. This is this wasn't. This is a few minutes later. After a quick commotion, I found the situation settled enough to return the documents to Ishmael's hand. Then I'll leave it to you. Hmm. So the former El Corp, also known as Lobama Corporation, used to contain and manage the abnormalities we, that we faced in their branches. Even taking into account that their strengths were suppressed by the Golden Bows, Obos, there was a pretty significant difference between their risk levels and categorization, categorizations, and the actual risk involved facing them. Other employees in the higher ups and limits company also apparently felt like there was something fam, fam, there was there was a uh, there was a familiar yet off. Something was something familiar. I, yeah, okay. I can't feel. I'm sorry. sorry. My, my English is failing me. And that's why they investigated this issue for the LCD department. So far, there's only there's been five categorizations of risk level. Wait, they're they're just now fighting about this? Five? Aren't there only four of them? Wait, just five? Wait, <laughs> wonk. Rodeo punched Heath close into the in the crown of his head, and he promptly slipped up from the ground out cold. Maybe it was the suddenness of the attack, of the attack that did it. Nah, that face says it all. That was intentional. That was that was emotionally charged right there. You you didn't kill him, did you? Nah, he'll be fine. It's Heath. It's not like I smacked him. I smacked him that hard. Sinclair quickly ran his hand. All right, you can go ahead. Oh, he raised his hand. Ismail nodded at Sinclair. Well, 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 I thought there were only four risk levels. Zane, Teeth. He said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Alpha. And wow, just like Heathcliff said, they're the only ones we've seen so far, yeah. But according to these documents, the highest risk level category, category is la la labeled Alpha. Like I said earlier, there's a pretty significant disparity between our category, categorization standards and our experience with them in the field. Which is why they are apparently planning to make overhauls to those standards by Olympus Company standards. Oh, oh, we're getting a new. Oh, oh, this is some major shit happening. I gotta, I gotta talk about this. <laughs> I gotta talk about. I 
I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I gotta do I gotta, I gotta just, I gotta this, this information too. Okay, Marcel is dot 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 dot. Go ahead, Marcel. I must inquire what exactly this overhaul entails. Does this mean that abnormalities will be recategorized within the pre existing framework of the categorization? Or will an additional risk level be risk will be categorized be cre be created? Marcel is B. He's B right for real. This is like if Marcel like I like how Marcel's questions like Marcel is a lot like me in all ways. God damn, it was like, God damn, like, like, he's asking the real questions. It doesn't elaborate that far, but it says here that Lobotomy Corporation used each abnormalities and confounded production capability to characterize them into different race levels, which was stupid. I always said this was stupid. Because, like, you're, you see, because you're gonna put, uh, put, what's her name? What the fuck? You're gonna put what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Fuck. Uh it was the the toy soldier as a as a alpha level. Like there's like a heart soldier, but but is it Zane in this containment chamber? I don't remember if it becomes alpha level when it breach when it breaches out or not afterwards, because I know some abnormalities change after the breakout. Plague Doctor is one, uh, I think that's it actually, that I remember. Plague Doctor is what he changes, that guy changes, I think there's, I guess those are the only two that actually change uh, their risk level. And then you have, uh, yeah, them. And then you have them categorized by their energy output, but I try. I don't remember that well. I don't remember. I actually don't. I do not remember those that those that were Mally's. But like, yeah, I thought some of them were pretty stupid. Like, they didn't belong there. I have to go back and play the game to remember which abnorm which abnormalities that I thought had too high of a, of a ranking. That that was weird. It does not elaborate how that far, but the rateless holes. And the maladies of more complicated and difficult management conditions apparently produce more encephalion. I guess the more complicated the anomaly is, the harder they are to fight. Oh, so yeah, this is another actually making it okay, wait, what? Okay, so that so it did mean this too. Yeah, but there were some that didn't feel like they were hard to fight, but they were a higher level, is what I meant to say. Uh, sort of, but it can hardly be said that it was flawless. Look, to me, they're trying to make these risk levels better reflect their own field of experiences, which doesn't rule out the possibility for them to add more to as a pre-existing one. Ooh, okay. Hmm, we could, mm -hmm. for we can conduct not manage, for we conduct not management, but combat against these foes. Is it sensible for that these standard risk levels will be used to accord us to who? Wait, oh, wait, Riese can speak without raising his hand. Oh, here we go. All right, bye bye. I managed to stab Rita before her fist came connected to Riese's crown. She's really taking a good, good lesson to her fucking uh, associations ID. To heart, she bam, 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 bam. Catholic Grodia is scary. It's almost as if she was moving based on pure instinct. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're overhauling the risk levels based on the actual risk of each abnormality posed in battle. So we do well to be wary of the possible changes to the risk levels written in the abnormal observation logs. Oh, and they'll let us know again. Once the precise these details are decided, the next the next section is distortions. Which <gasps> bro, <laughs> I was like, bro, this is really just like, like fucking. This is like, I'm like, this is just a fucking game. I was talking to the players directly. <laughs> God damn, for real. Donkey Hardy raises her hand, but she continued to explain Ravelix. Well, stop it. She probably just ignored her. 
So far, we've been um, using the same subject classification codes as abnormalities for distortions, but it's got it pretty clear that there's a pretty big difference between them. I have to give these two groups a distinctive classification code that's different from being. Hong Lee raises his hand and Ishbel nodded. Dog Yao they appear to be quit crestfallen. The difference is that when defeated, abnormalities transform into their egg like forms, but distortions don't, right? Am I right? Correct. Distortions can be completely subdued simply by defeating them in battle and giving them an RKO. But any other method by slowly of fully slaying an abnormality is yet to be discovered, in, even in theory. So she says, we all had our first hand of, experiencing against, of experiences against them, so it shouldn't be too hard to understand. <sighs> Here comes the last subject. This was about the particular. They're going to be given the classification code scheme different from the abnormalities as well, including a new type of type of particular that we've recently encountered. Let's see, classifications, bases, abnormalities, distortions, both have elements uniqueness that is missing in each individual particular, considering that it has been, de it has been deemed, okay, I don't really get what this is talking about. You say you take over? Or Faust? Fa Faust walked up to Ishbel and began to explain. Uniqueness. In context, this refers to the fact that there is no same entity that exhibits the same, that, ex that exhibits the same location. It would be helpful to recall that our encounters with the particular have always been against multiple duplicates of the same category of particular. However, some encounters may have been against distortions and abnormalities. Hopefully, this has been a sufficient explanation for all of that. Right, so simply- Oh no, Verdi, oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, I was waiting for him this way. <laughs> yep, there you go. Right, so simply put, we could just toss them, toss them into particular in all the same bit, but each of every one of the abnormality and distortions that speak, especially unique, eh? They could explain the blade is so much easier if they just. Fuck. He close to each of them, woken up from his coma, but. I'll be looking forward to the, to the extra dessert. <laughs> His moment of lunacy barely lasted a moment. And that's all there is to it. That was pretty great, huh? It's refreshing doing some something like this once in a while. <gasps> Don Quixote has not lowered her hands since Isabel ignored her the first time, not even for the brief moment. Fine, axe away. Dost thou know the name of the LCD employee that has composed that report? Isabel seemed to be a bit, this must seem to have been taken back a bit that Don Quixote actually managed to ask a, a rather, rather sensible question, even though it was asked with the very same enthusiasm that she was talking about, the fixers, that is. Oh, sure, give me a sec. Center LCD on site investigation reasoning team leader Moses. Oh, Moses, aim drop. Yeah, there was Moses. Well, we might have to keep. This name in mind says we probably run into them sooner or later. Sorry if I know you, Don Quixote. Hmm. Quixote was so Don Quixote was finally given the answers. So he was so passionate to crave. She did not appear happy or excited. Instead, she seemed to be absorbed in deep thought. Something wrong, Don Quixote? I recall hearing that name in the past, yet I cannot recall as to who that name may belong to. Okay, now that we're actually done. Darn, I thought I'd be able to collect a bit more dessert. This time, this was more time consuming than I was initially expected. Dante now. Alright, it's about time. Alright, I hereby confirm that today's closure of business for the sitters over. This could have dragged on much longer, but the sitters were thankfully corrupt, pretty corruptive. We've managed to finish our, our day early. Let me see, did I f Let me see, so uh, that was like 30 minutes for me. And that's like, oh, that was it. Well, I guess that's kind of brief. I followed the sinners to the back door of the bus, my heart, and a, uh, my heart a little lighter than it was bef at the start of the day. Huh? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, yeah, he got his ass knocked out. 
Okay. It took me about 30 minutes. It took me about... Oh! 30 minutes. Just like me. 30 minutes. 30 minutes to realize that we left Heathcliff out cold on the bus floor. Okay, that was it. Uh, I'll be first to do this too. Grab this here. Let me see this here. I grab this. Thank you. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Get rid of all this stuff. Get all of all that. Yep, yep, yep. And before I get off, I guess I'll go and check. Guard or draw. So yeah, while you go, when does this end? By the way, twenty first next week. Okay, let's see what this he goes on about. So here, oh, oh my. Okay, well, oh wait, wait. Before I, before I, I'm not doing this, but let me go to theater. Dante's note. Oh, we got Dante's notes. We do got some Dante's notes. I'm the Mallory. We do got this, so we can read that too. Fuck it. Let's do all of this in one video. Let's make this an extra long video because I just because I'm just spiteful. Also, one week left, uh, I don't know if I want to get this or I want to try to get one of these. I'm probably going to get one of these. Or I'll just keep doing that dungeon, because I have I have all these fucking things, so I could just do that, that dungeon a lot until I have enough. But let's continue on, so let's look at this first. Garden, there's a link here by the way, yeah. Garden of Thorns, Gregor, Wa, Ego. Let's see what this thing is. So this is at tier four. It is a what was this do? I think I gotta screenshot this too. Well, it's so over though. It's so over. That is like two, four, six, eight. This is the this is the two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen thirty. 1630 1630 1630 Jesus Christ Jesus Christ Sheesh 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 That's a lot That's a lot I don't let me go check my no, I don't have my tier 4 yet so let me go check on the Limbus Company wiki Limbus Company uh Sun Shower or I guess I'll do Ishmael. Ishmael Wa Ego. Let me do that instead. Let me find it. What was it called? I forgot what it was called. So. Let me just. Uh... So, okay, we're trying to go here first. Oh, I gotta find it. Ishmael. I'll do Ishmael because this is the last latest one that's kind of updated. Uh, Ishmael, Snag, Harpoon, uh, Blind Obsession. Okay, there we go. Let's see how much this costs. Yeah, it's like three, six, that's what that's six, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven. That's twelve. That's sixteen. That's supposed to be a while ago? That's supposed to be a while ago? That Like, uh, <laughs> like, okay, but let's see. But yeah, that's expensive. Like, it might be like low cost all around the board, but you have to have all these at the same time. And it costs a lot of ego. So, let's go on. Let's read what this thing does. Sign of Roses. You got the card right here. This is tier four. We got Garden of Thorns. It's a four. What? Oh my, wait, it's a dirty hit, four hit. Dirt. It's a four hitter. Oh, yeah, right, right, it expands. It's base is four hitter. All right, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. Gain, um, gain number of the highest resonance. Minus two. Ah, fuck, I can't read, fuck. Oh, reading comprehension is gonna, oh, you're gonna see how bad I read comprehension is. But... Attack weight, get mat, gain three. Okay, so we get three plus attack rate, so it'll be seven, I'm assuming. So seven on max, seven on max, because, yeah, yeah. Number is minus two, that, that's, that's minus two. Yeah, that is minus two, I'm pretty sure. 
and the maximum we can get is six, I believe. Six is a thing, so it'll be so it'll be so we'll lose it'll go down to four, but you'll still get three. On you supply one corresponding to the penalty damage up a corresponding on use. So not so on use. So I know it's like it's not a combat start. That's when it's actually used in battle. I'm pretty pretty sure. Unless unless I'm wrong about that too, you can correct me. If that's if that's wrong, if it's, if it's in during combat or when it's actually used in the battle. Because four spikes to defend, you power up to four plus the highest resonance. Power up the four plus the highest. So six plus ten? I mean six plus four? Ten? Ten power up? Wait, is that ten power up? Hold up, hold up. Ten, ten power up. I think that, that that is ten power up, right? I don't know. Assume if you get six of a six, six ego res. But then again, I don't really know that know that well, so don't really quote me on this. I'm not really good at that. So like four res, five res. Yeah, I think it is six. Though yeah, it is six right here. Six is max, I think anyway. And oh, I explains it here too. So I uh, four corresponding res, apply one damage up, five. One power up, six, apply both th these effects next turn as well. So we get the same turn next turn. Up, right? Yeah. This so one this turn, next turn. After attack heal out al heal four allies with lowest HP of twenty percent of their HP. Heal highest res minus two. Max is three, so we get three more. So that'll be seven, seven, I think. I think that's what that's saying. You get seven more. He we get three more heals. It'll be seven. Let's go to the corrosion. Uh, let's see here. Gain highest res minus two. Technically, that's the same. Indiscriminate, kind of cringe. On hit, inflict damage down. If like two buy next turn, ooh, that's a pretty oh, this is a pretty good ego. Cause a bind. On hit inflict one fragil fragility. Fragility. One power down for the Cinephilly for the highest res for the highest apply one power down for the highest sin affinity with the highest residence count. So assuming we have gluttony, right? It'll put Put it down for gluttony. Okay, then. Oh no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No, it'll be yeah. So, so fragility. So fragility. So let me see. Wait. So fragility. So that will become the weaker, and then power down. And apply the next fix next turn. Corresponding since for them. For them. So we'll put our sin down for the for them, I guess. I'll have to see that in play. There's also is a bomb value bomb value as you go too, so you probably guys want to go get that. But anyway, we got the potency right here. We got it's a rupture passive. Turn to start inflict two rupture potency on a random enemy on focus encounters. It focus encounters all parts. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice. So we get the first thing there. I wish it applied count though. If it was count, it'd be good. But like this is like this is rupture, right? Because like we gotta understand it. So like, cause when you hit people, it goes away, then it reapplies it later. So it's only good for like IDs that have the rupture count on 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 clash, or they hit first. So this is so this is never gonna be good on turn one, except for the like, ones. That have clash add rupture or it'll be good on turn on turns like later on we already have rupture on them it just applies more with the count on top of it so when activating absolute residence if look two rupture potency on all enemies that come at start so turn start if look two absolute resistance if look two more 
but no count. So, so yeah, it is four in total. Assuming you get an absolute resident residence. Oh wait, 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 what? Which is three, right? Absolute resistance is three, so you could potentially get six on per turn, I think. Right? Right? Yeah, let me look that up. Let me look it up. Numbers company absolute resonance. I think that, I think it is three. It's three up, three and up. Yeah, three skills. Yeah, three skills. So two, three skills. I'm sure that, and I think that is the max. Let me see. I'm trying to see. I think it actually no, it's not six. It's nine. It's ten. Okay, it's, okay. It's, it's a lot more than six. That's so. Yeah, you can have three, six, nine. I think is it twelve? It isn't it's not a twelve? So you can have eight rupture potentially if you get three absolute resistances. If you get three absolute resistances, resistances. Resistances with a at the same time. So this ego is pretty good. It's pretty good ego. It's a healing ego too. It's a healing wall ego. Uh, I believe, I believe, I believe. Uh, yeah. This spells does sanity and does not heal. That's not what I want to get. I want to get this one. This one does sanity. So yeah, that, okay, that does something to you. Hmm. So yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty good. Good ego. And we go back to we go back to e thing, and we go back to uh, sun shower, sloth. Kind of kind of pale to comparison to those two. But yeah, that was that. That was that ego. That's pretty fun. Uh, but let's see here. Let's go down to let's go down into the Dante's notes and let's read uh, whatever the fuck this is. The animalities, the risk levels. Oh, a little, only a little bit. Damn. Okay. Each okay. So record one. Each abnormality is categorized into different risk levels, divided to five levels. According to a brief manual Faust gave, gave me, the five levels seem to be Zane, Teeth, Hay, Wa, and Alf. It seems the postmortem observation laws written by the series are sent to the upper echelons of the Limits Company, which the company used to determine their risk levels. Apparently, there was there are times where some abnormalities risk levels were rated even before we submitted the observation logs. He could have told me that he would finally get the right the observation log after putting it off a long while, he noticed that it was already marked with a risk level. Since these logs are probably connected directly to the Limits Company headquarters, they, they maybe they're checking these pretty frequently, or they already have them from from Library of Ruin. I'm not from from Labami Corporation. So, all right, I got a new. I got a little bit of a new theory now. This this time of the video. Because yeah, this is it, but I have a little bit of a new theory. It's gonna be a little bit, a little bit of a short side about Limbus Company. So Limbus Company is a branch. Uh, because they do know that like all like Limbus Company, like all the corporations have like branch uh facilities. But but Limbus Company had a branch of symbol was a branch uh branch facility of Lobami Corporation as well. But they managed to get away unscathed. And the people running it of that one were like, you know what? Let's get let's get to cooking. We're gonna use the Bombing Corporation for our for our business to become the new L Corp. That if we deal with all the abnormalities, all the distortions in the area, collect the golden bows to get the power to to fuel this goal. And bada bada bing bada boom, we are a new corp. We're a new L Corp. And then L Corp 2 the game comes out. And it's about distortion hunting. And we get and we hire fixers. That'd be that'd be pretty fun. Pretty sick. But yeah, that's my little bit theory of the sort of the uh, company I'm working for right now. Unfortunately, we do not get the damn abnormalities into this thing. God damn, we don't get abnormality logs. Unfortunate. 
unfortunate. We do not get that's really sad. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just coping, especially the entire, the entire section to see if I can see it anywhere, but I don't see it anywhere. Oh, well. But yeah, that was Limbus Company. That was just a little short story that came in. Checked out a new abnormality. Uh, we viewed that, that log. But yeah, that'll be it. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Wait, remember, you say to go. And I'll, and I'll see you later. Uh, goodbye. Wow, I got this on my first temple, guys. <laughs> Domain expansion, Restless Gambler. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay. I, I knew I knew what my bozo was gonna get it. I was like, I had a feeling I was gonna get this first try, but I got him. Holy shit, that's crazy, actually. Let me... Yeah, that was pretty crazy. And I got this too. What? This is did this thing even show up as like a as a thing? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I, I did a thing right here, too. I was like, I'm going to do this first, and then I'm going to do a domain expansion. And then I did the domain expansion, and it, and it paid off. Okay, now now I'm going away. Now, now I'm gone.